Ankara, Wikipedia article audio. Ankara Turkish, formerly known as Ansira and Angora, is the capital of the Republic of Turkey. With a population of 4,587,558 in the urban center and 5,150,072 in its province, it is Turkey's second largest city after former imperial capital Istanbul, having overtaken Izmir. Ankara was a Tatarq's headquarters from 1920 and has been the capital of the republic since the latter's founding in 1923, replacing Istanbul following the fall of the Ottoman Empire. The government is a prominent employer, but Ankara is also an important commercial and industrial city, located at the center of Turkey's road and railway networks. The city gave its name to the Angora wool shorn from Angora rabbits, the long-haired Angora goat, and the Angora cat. The area is also known for its pears, honey, and musket grapes. Although situated in one of the driest places of Turkey and surrounded mostly by steppe vegetation except for the forested areas on the southern periphery, Ankara can be considered a green city in terms of green areas per inhabitant, at 72 square meters per head. Etymology and Names Geography Ankara is a very old city with various Hittite, Phrygian, Hellenistic, Roman, Byzantine, and Ottoman archaeological sites. The historical center of town is a rocky hill rising 150 m over the left bank of the Ankara Kai, a tributary of the Sakarya River, the classical Sang Arius. The hill remains crowned by the ruins of the old citadel. Although few of its outworks have survived, there are well-preserved examples of Roman and Ottoman architecture throughout the city the most remarkable being the 20 BC Temple of Augustus in Rome that boasts the Monumentum Ansiranum, the inscription recording the residential Gesti Divi Augusti. The orthography of the name Ankara has varied over the ages. It has been identified with the Hittite cult center Ankawa, although this remains a matter of debate. In classical antiquity and during the medieval period, the city was known as Ankara in Greek and Ansira in Latin, the Galatian Celtic name was probably a similar variant. Following its annexation by the Seljuk Turks in 1073, the city became known in many European languages as Angora, it was also known in Ottoman Turkish as Inguru. The form Angora is preserved in the names of breeds of many different kinds of animals, and in the names of several locations in the U.S. Ankara has a hot summer Mediterranean climate with strong humid continental climate characteristics under the Köppen climate classification. Under the True Artha climate classification, Ankara has a middle-latitude steppe climate. Due to its elevation and inland location, Ankara has cold, snowy winters and hot dry summers, with cool nightly temperatures. Rainfall occurs mostly during the spring and autumn. Ankara lies in USDA Hardiness Zone 7B, and its annual average precipitation is fairly low at 400 mm, nevertheless precipitation can be observed throughout the year. Monthly mean temperatures range from 0.3 degrees Celsius in January to 23.5 degrees Celsius in July, with an annual mean of 12.02 degrees Celsius. Ankara had a population of 75,000 in 1927. In 2013, Ankara province had a population of 5,045,083. When Ankara became the capital of the Republic of Turkey in 1923, it was designated as a planned city for 500,000 future inhabitants. During the 1920s, 1930s, and 1940s, 
the city grew in a planned and orderly pace. However, from the 1950s onward, the city grew much faster than envisioned, because unemployment and poverty forced people to migrate from the countryside into the city in order to seek a better standard of living. As a result, many illegal houses called Gasikandil were built around the city, causing the unplanned and uncontrolled urban landscape of Ankara, as not enough planned housing could be built fast enough. Although precariously built, the vast majority of them have electricity, running water, and modern household amenities. Climate Nevertheless, Many of these Gasikandas have been replaced by huge public housing projects in the form of tower blocks such as Elvenkent, Ariaman, and Guzelkent, and also as mass housing compounds for military and civil service accommodation. Although many Gasikandas still remain, they too are gradually being replaced by mass housing compounds as empty land plots in the city of Ankara for new construction projects are becoming impossible to find. The region's history can be traced back to the Bronze Age Haddock civilization, which was succeeded in the 2nd millennium BC by the Hittites, in the 10th century BC by the Phrygians, and later by the Lydians, Persians, Greeks, Galatians, Romans, Byzantines, and Turks. Demographics The oldest settlements in and around the city centre of Ankara belonged to the Haddock civilization, which existed during the Bronze Age and was gradually absorbed c. 2700 BC by the Indo-European Hittites. The city grew significantly in size and importance under the Phrygians starting around 1000 BC, and experienced a large expansion following the mass migration from Gordian, after an earthquake which severely damaged that city around that time. In Phrygian tradition, King Midas was venerated as the founder of Ansira, but Pausanias mentions that the city was actually far older, which accords with present archaeological knowledge. Phrygian rule was succeeded first by Lydian and later by Persian rule, though the strongly Phrygian character of the peasantry remained, as evidenced by the gravestones of the much later Roman period. Persian sovereignty lasted until the Persians' defeat at the hands of Alexander the Great who conquered the city in 333 BC. Alexander came from Gordian to Ankara and stayed in the city for a short period. After his death at Babylon in 323 BC and the subsequent division of his empire among his generals, Ankara, and its environs fell into the share of Antigonus. Another important expansion took place under the Greeks of Pontos who came there around 300 BC and developed the city as a trading center for the commerce of goods between the Black Sea ports and Crimea to the north. Assyria, Cyprus, and Lebanon to the south, and Georgia, Armenia, and Persia to the east. By that time the city also took its name. A witch, in slightly modified form, provides the modern name of Ankara. History In 278 BC, the city, along with the rest of central Anatolia, was occupied by a Celtic group, the Galatians, who were the first to make Ankara one of their main tribal centers, the headquarters of the Tectosagus tribe. Other centers were Pesinos, today's Balaisar, for the Trochmi tribe, and Tavium, to the east of Ankara, for the Tolstibagii tribe. The city was then known as Ansira. The Celtic element was probably relatively small in numbers, a warrior aristocracy which ruled over Phrygian-speaking peasants. However, the Celtic language continued to be spoken in Galatia for many centuries. At the end of the 4th century, St. Jerome, a native of Dalmatia, 
observed that the language spoken around Ankara was very similar to that being spoken in the northwest of the Roman world near Trier. Ancient History The city was subsequently passed under the control of the Roman Empire. In 25 BC, Emperor Augustus raised it to the status of a polis and made it the capital city of the Roman province of Galatia. Ankara is famous for the Monumentum Ancyranum which contains the official record of the Acts of Augustus, known as the Residential Gesti Divi Augusti and inscription cut Indiana marble on the walls of this temple. The ruins of Ansira still furnish today valuable bas reliefs, inscriptions, and other architectural fragments. Two other Galatian tribal centers, Tavium near Yazgat, and Pessinus to the west, near Sivrihisar, continued to be reasonably important settlements in the Roman period, but it was Ansira that grew into a grand metropolis. Celtic History an estimated 200,000 people lived in Ansira in good times during the Roman Empire, a far greater number than was to be the case from after the fall of the Roman Empire until the early 20th century. A small river, the Ankara Kai, ran through the center of the Roman town. It has now been covered and diverted, but it formed the northern boundary of the old town during the Roman. Byzantine and Ottoman periods. Kankia, the rim of the majestic hill to the south of the present city centre, stood well outside the Roman city, but may have been a summer resort. In the 19th century, the remains of at least one Roman villa or large house were still standing not far from where the Kankia presidential residence stands today. To the west, the Roman city extended until the area of the Gen Clique Park and Railway Station, while on the southern side of the hill, it may have extended downwards as far as the site presently occupied by Hasidopi University. It was thus a sizable city by any standards and much larger than the Roman towns of Gaul or Britannia. Ansira's importance rested on the fact that it was the junction point where the roads in northern Anatolia running north-south and east-west intersected, giving it major strategic importance for Rome's eastern frontier. The great imperial road running east passed through Ankara and a succession of emperors and their armies came this way. They were not the only ones to use the Roman highway network, which was equally convenient for invaders. In the second half of the 3rd century, Ansira was invaded in rapid succession by the Goths coming from the west and later by the Arabs. For about a decade, the town was one of the western outposts of one of Pomerine Empress Zenobia in the Syrian desert, who took advantage of a period of weakness and disorder in the Roman Empire to set up a short-lived state of her own. Roman History the town was reincorporated into the Roman Empire under Emperor Aurelian in 272. The Tetrarchy, a system of multiple emperors introduced by Diocletian, seems to have engaged in a substantial program of rebuilding and of road construction from Ankara westwards to Germ and Dorylium. In its heyday, Roman Ankara was a large market and trading centre but it also functioned as a major administrative capital, where a high official ruled from the city's praetorium, a large administrative palace or office. During the 3rd century, life in Ansira, as in other Anatolian towns, seems to have become somewhat militarised in response to the invasions and instability of the town. The city is well known during the 4th century as a center of Christian activity, due to frequent imperial visits, and through the letters of the pagan scholar Libanius. Bishop Marcellus of Ansira and Basil of Ansira were active in the theological controversies of their day, and the city was the site of no less than three church synods in 314, in 358 and in 375, the latter two in favor of Arianism. 
the city was visited by Emperor Constans I in 347 and 350, Julian during his Persian campaign in 362, and Julian's successor Jovian in winter 363-364. After Jovian's death soon after, Valentinian I was acclaimed emperor at Ansira, and in the next year his brother Valens used Ansira as his base against the usurper Procopius. When the province of Galatia was divided sometime in 396-99, Ansira remained the civil capital of Galatia I, as well as its ecclesiastical centre. Emperor Arcadius frequently used the city as his summer residence, and some information about the ecclesiastical affairs of the city during the early 5th century is found in the works of Palladius of Galatia and Nilus of Galatia. In 479, the rebel Martian attacked the city, without being able to capture it. In 610-11, Comenciolus, brother of Emperor Phocas, launched his own unsuccessful rebellion in the city against Heraclius. Ten years later, in 620 or more likely 622, it was captured by the Sassanid Persians during the Byzantine-Sassanid War of 602-628. Although the city returned to Byzantine hands after the end of the war, the Persian presence left traces in the city's archaeology and likely began the process of its transformation from a late antique city to a medieval fortified settlement. In 654, the city was captured for the first time by the Arabs of the Rashidun Caliphate, under Muawiyat, the future founder of the Umayyad Caliphate. At about the same time, the themes were established in Anatolia, and Ansira became capital of the Opsisian theme, which was the largest and most important theme until it was split up under Emperor Constantine V. Ansira then became the capital of the new Bucellarian theme. The city was attacked without success by Abbasid forces in 776 and in 798-99. In 805, Emperor Nikoporos I strengthened its fortifications, a fact which probably saved it from sack during the large-scale invasion of Anatolia by Caliph Harun al-Rashid in the next year. Arab sources report that Harun and his successor al-Mamun took the city, but this information is later invention. In 838, however, during the Amorium campaign, the armies of Caliph al-Mutasim converged and met at the city, abandoned by its inhabitants, Ankara was razed to the ground, before the Arab armies went on to besiege and destroy Amorium. In 859, Emperor Michael III came to the city during a campaign against the Arabs, and ordered its fortifications restored. In 872, the city was menaced but not taken, by the Polychians under Chrysachir. The last Arab raid to reach the city was undertaken in 931, by the Abbasid governor of Tarsus, Tamil Aldulaf, but the city again was not captured. Byzantine History After the Battle of Manzikert in 1071, the Seljuk Turks overran much of Anatolia. By 1073, the Turkish settlers had reached the vicinity of Ansira, and the city was captured shortly after, at the latest by the time of the rebellion of Nikoporos Melissinos in 1081. In 1101, when the crusade under Raymond IV of Toulouse arrived, the city had been under Danish mend control for some time. The Crusaders captured the city, and handed it over to the Byzantine Emperor Alexios I Komnos. Byzantine rule did not last long, and the city was captured by the Seljuk Sultanate of Rum at some unknown point. In 1127, it returned to Danish mend control until 1143, 
when the Seljuks of Rum retook it. Turkic Rulers After the Battle of Kozdag in 1243, in which the Mongols defeated the Seljuks, most of Anatolia became part of the dominion of the Mongols. Taking advantage of Seljuk decline, a semi-religious caste of craftsmen and trade people named Ahiler chose Ankara as their independent city-state in 1290. Orhan I, the second bay of the Ottoman Empire, captured the city in 1356. Timur defeated Bayezid I at the Battle of Ankara in 1402 and took the city, but in 1403 Ankara was again under Ottoman control. Mikhail Nurses Sishan, as Apostolic Exarch of United States of America and Canada of the Armenians and as Emeritate. The Levant Company maintained a factory in the town from 1639 to 1768. In the 19th century, its population was estimated at 20,000 to 60,000. It was sacked by Egyptians under Ibrahim Pasha in 1832. Prior to World War I, the town had a British consulate and a population of around 28,000, roughly, of whom were Christian. Following the Ottoman defeat at World War I, the Ottoman capital Constantinople and much of Anatolia were occupied by the Allies, who planned to share these lands between Armenia, France, Greece, Italy and the United Kingdom leaving for the Turks the core piece of land in central Anatolia. In response, the leader of the Turkish nationalist movement, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, established the headquarters of his resistance movement in Ankara in 1920. After the Turkish War of Independence was won and the Treaty of Sevra was superseded by the Treaty of Lausanne, the Turkish nationalists replaced the Ottoman Empire with the Republic of Turkey on October 29, 1923. A few days earlier, Ankara had officially replaced Constantinople as the new Turkish capital city, on October 13, 1923. Ankara Opera House is the largest of the three venues for opera and ballet in Ankara. After Ankara became the capital of the newly founded Republic of Turkey, new development divided the city into an old section, called Uluz, and a new section, called Yenisehir. Ancient buildings reflecting Roman, Byzantine, and Ottoman history and narrow winding streets mark the old section. The new section, now centered on Kizile Square, has the trappings of a more modern city, wide streets, hotels, theatres, shopping malls, and high-rises. Government offices and foreign embassies are also located in the new section. Ankara has experienced a phenomenal growth since it was made Turkey's capital in 1923, when it was a small town of no importance. In 1924, the year after the government had moved there, Ankara had about 35,000 residents. By 1927 there were 44,553 residents and by 1950 the population had grown to 286,781. Ankara continued to grow rapidly during the latter half of the 20th century and eventually outranked Izmir as Turkey's second largest city, after Istanbul. Ankara's urban population reached 4,587,558 in 2014, while the population of Ankara province reached 5,150,072 in 2015. Turkish Republican Capital Ecclesiastical History Armenian Catholic C. Latin titular archbishopric Early Christian martyrs of Ansira, about whom little is known, 
included Proclos and Ilarios who were natives of the otherwise unknown nearby village of Calapi, and suffered repression under the Emperor Trajan. In the 280s we hear of Philomenos, a Christian corn merchant from southern Anatolia, being captured and martyred in Ankara, and Eustathias. Presidential Symphony Orchestra Bilkent Symphony Orchestra is a major symphony orchestra of Turkey. Hasidopi Symphony Orchestra was founded in 2003 and is currently conducted by Errol Erdan, Baskent Oda Orchestra C. As in other Roman towns, the reign of Diocletian marked the culmination of the persecution of the Christians. In 303, Ansira was one of the towns where the CO emperors Diocletian and his deputy Galerius launched their anti-Christian persecution. In Ansira, their first target was the 38-year-old bishop of the town, whose name was Clement. Clement's life describes how he was taken to Rome, then sent back, and forced to undergo many interrogations and hardship before he, and his brother, and various companions were put to death. The remains of the Church of St. Clement can be found today in a building just off Isaacler Cadassi in the Ulus district. Quite possibly this marks the site where Clement was originally buried. Four years later, a doctor of the town named Plato and his brother Antiochus also became celebrated martyrs under Galerius. Theodotus of Ansira is also venerated as a saint. However, the persecution proved unsuccessful and in 314, Ansira was the center of an important council of the early church, its 25 disciplinary canons constitute one of the most important documents in the early history of the administration of the sacrament of penance. The Synod also considered ecclesiastical policy for the reconstruction of the Christian Church after the persecutions, and in particular the treatment of Lapsa Christians who had given in to forced paganism to avoid martyrdom during these persecutions. Though paganism was probably tottering in Ansira in Clement's day, it may still have been the majority religion. Twenty years later, Christianity and monotheism had taken its place. Ansira quickly turned into a Christian city, with a life dominated by monks and priests and theological disputes. The town council or senate gave way to the bishop as the main local figurehead. During the middle of the 4th century, Ansira was involved in the complex theological disputes over the nature of Christ and a form of Arianism seems to have originated there. CSO Concert Hall Bilkent Concert Hall is a performing arts center in Ankara. It is located in the Bilkent University campus, Mabsura Salonu, it is noted for its tango performances. Kankia Kagdas Sanitler Merksa Concert Hall was founded in 1994. In 362-363, the Emperor Julian passed through Ansira on his way to an ill-fated campaign against the Persians, and according to Christian sources, engaged in a persecution of various holy men. The stone base for a statue, with an inscription describing Julian as Lord of the whole world from the British Ocean to the Barbarian Nations, can still be seen built into the eastern side of the inner circuit of the walls of Ankara Castle. The Column of Julian which was erected in honor of the Emperor's visit to the city in 362 still stands today. In 375, Arian bishops met at Ansira and deposed several bishops, among them St. Gregory of Nyssa. In the late 4th century, Ansira became something of an imperial holiday resort. After Constantinople became the East Roman capital, emperors in the 4th and 5th centuries would retire from the humid summer weather on the Bosporus to the drier mountain atmosphere of Ansira. Theodosius II kept his court in Ansira in the summers. 
laws issued in Ansira testify to the time they spent there. The metropolis of Ansira continued to be a residential see of the Eastern Orthodox Church until the 20th century, with about 40,000 faithful, mostly Turkish-speaking, but that situation ended as a result of the 1923 convention concerning the exchange of Greek and Turkish populations. The earlier Armenian genocide put an end to the residential eparchy of Ansira of the Armenian Catholic Church, which had been established in 1850. It is also a titular metropolis of the Ecumenical Patriarchate of Constantinople. Economy and Infrastructure Both the ancient Byzantine Metropolitan Archbishopric and the modern Armenian Eparchy are now listed by the Catholic Church as titular sees, with separate apostolic successions. In 1735 an Armenian Catholic diocese was established. Having fallen into disuse, on April 30, 1850 it was restored. The Armenian Genocide brought an effective end to the residential diocese, which was only formally suppressed in 1972 and instantly transformed into an Armenian Catholic titular bishopric. The titular see has had a single occupant. Transportation Ankara Public Transportation Statistics Politics No later than 1696, the Catholic Church also established a Latin Rite titular archbishopric of Ansira. The last incumbent died in 1976. The city has exported mohair and angora wool internationally for centuries. In the 19th century, the city also exported substantial amounts of goat and cat skins, gum, wax, honey, berries, and madder root. It was connected to Istanbul by railway before the First World War, continuing to export mohair, wool, berries, and grain. The central Anatolia region is one of the primary locations of grape and wine production in Turkey, and Ankara is particularly famous for its Kalasik Karasi and Muscat grapes, and its Kavaklitera wine, which is produced in the Kavaklitera neighborhood within the Kankia district of the city. Ankara is also famous for its pears. Another renowned natural product of Ankara is its indigenous type of honey which is known for its light color and is mostly produced by the Atatürk Forest Farm and Zoo in the Geza district, and by other facilities in the El Madag, Kubuk and Bipazari districts. Ankara is the center of the state-owned and private Turkish defense and aerospace companies where the industrial plants and headquarters of the Turkish Aerospace Industries, MKE, Aselsan, Havelsan, Roketsan, FNSS, Neural Makina, and numerous other firms are located. Exports to foreign countries from these defense and aerospace firms have steadily increased in the past decades. The IDEF in Ankara is one of the largest international expositions of the global arms industry. A number of the global automotive companies also have production facilities in Ankara, such as the German bus and truck manufacturer Man SE. Ankara hosts the Ostom Industrial Zone, Turkey's largest industrial park. A large percentage of the complicated employment in Ankara is provided by the state institutions, such as the ministries, under-secretariats, and other administrative bodies of the Turkish government. There are also many foreign citizens working as diplomats or clerks in the embassies of their respective countries. Main Sites The Electricity, Gas, Bus General Directorate operates the Ankara Metro and other forms of public transportation. Ankara is currently served by a suburban rail named Ankara E and three subway lines of the Ankara Metro with about 300,000 total daily commuters, 
while an additional subway line is currently under construction. A 3.2 km long gondola lift with four stations connects the district of Senteep to the Yenamehala metro station. The Ankara Central Station is a major rail hub in Turkey. The Turkish State Railways operates passenger train service from Ankara to other major cities, such as, Istanbul, Eskisahir, Balikseyir, Kudahaya, Izmir, Kayseri, Adana, Kars, Ilazig, Malatya, Diyarbakir, Karabuk, Zonguldak, and Shivas. Commuter rail also runs between the stations of Sinkan and Kayas. On March 13, 2009, the new Yuxek Hisli Tren high speed rail service began operation between Ankara and Eskisahir. On August 23, 2011, another YHT high-speed line commercially started its service between Ankara and Konya. On July 25, 2014, the Ankara-Istanbul high-speed line of YHT entered service. Esenboga International Airport, located in the northeast of the city, is Ankara's main airport. The average amount of time people spend commuting with public transit in Ankara, for example to and from work, on a weekday is 71 minutes 17% of public transit riders, ride for more than 2 hours every day. The average amount of time people wait at a stop or station for public transit is 16 minutes, while 28% of riders wait for over 20 minutes on average every day. The average distance people usually ride in a single trip with public transit is 9.9 km, while 27% travel for over 12 km in a single direction. Ankara is politically a triple battleground between the ruling Conservative Justice and Development Party, the opposition Kemalist Centre-Left Republican People's Party and the nationalist Far-Right Nationalist Movement Party. The province of Ankara is divided into 25 districts. The CHP's key and almost only political stronghold in Ankara lies within the central area of Kankia, which is the city's most populous district. While the CHP has always gained between 60 and 70 percent of the vote in Kankia since 2002, political support elsewhere throughout Ankara is minimal. The high population within Kankia, as well as Yenamehala to an extent, has allowed the CHP to take overall second place behind the AKP in both local and general elections, with the MHP a close third, despite the fact that the MHP is politically stronger than the CHP in almost every other district. Overall, the AKP enjoys the most support throughout the city. The electorate of Ankara thus tend to vote in favour of the political right, far more so than the other main cities of Istanbul and Izmir. In retrospect, the 2013-14 protests against the AKP government were particularly strong in Ankara, proving to be fatal on multiple occasions. Melih Gokek has been the Metropolitan Mayor of Ankara since 1994 as a politician from the Welfare Party. He later joined the Virtue Party and then the AKP. Initially elected in the 1994 local elections, he was re-elected in 1999, 2004 and 2009. In the 2014 local election, Gokek stood for a fifth term. The MHP Metropolitan Mayoral candidate for the 2009 local elections, conservative politician Mansur Yavas, stood as the CHP candidate against Gokek. In a heavily controversial election, Gokek was declared the winner by just 1% ahead of Yavas amid allegations of systematic electoral fraud. With the Supreme Electoral Council and courts rejecting Yavuz's appeals, he has declared intention to take the irregularities to the European Court of Human Rights.
Although Gokek was inaugurated for a fifth term, most election observers believe that Yavas was the winner of the election. The city suffered from a series of terrorist attacks in 2015 and 2016, most notably on October 10, 2015, 17 February 2016, 13 March 2016, and July 15, 2016. The foundations of the Ankara Castle and Citadel were laid by the Galatians on a prominent lava outcrop, and the rest was completed by the Romans. The Byzantines and Seljuks further made restorations and additions. The area around and inside the Citadel, being the oldest part of Ankara, contains many fine examples of traditional architecture. There are also recreational areas to relax. Many restored traditional Turkish houses inside the citadel area have found new life as restaurants, serving local cuisine. The citadel was depicted in various Turkish banknotes during 1927-1952 and 1983-1989. The remains, the stage, and the backstage of the Roman theatre can be seen outside the castle. Roman statues that were found here are exhibited in the Museum of Anatolian Civilizations. The seating area is still under excavation. The Augustium, now known as the Temple of Augustus in Rome, was built 25 x 20 BC following the conquest of central Anatolia by the Roman Empire. Ansira then formed the capital of the new province of Galatia. After the death of Augustus in AD 14, a copy of the text of the residential Gesti Divi Augusti was inscribed on the interior of the temple's Proneos in Latin and a Greek translation on an exterior wall of the cella. The temple on the ancient Acropolis of Ansira was enlarged in the 2nd century and converted into a church in the 5th century. It is located in the Ulus quarter of the city. It was subsequently publicized by the Austrian ambassador Ogier Gazelin de Buzbeck in the 16th century. Ancient-slash-archaeological sites Ankara Citadel The Roman baths of Ankara have all the typical features of a classical Roman bath complex, a frigidarium, a tepidarium, and a calderium. The baths were built during the reign of the Roman Emperor Caracalla in the early 3rd century to honor Asclepios, the god of medicine. Today, only the basement and first floors remain. It is situated in the Ulus quarter. The Roman road of Ankara or Cardo Maximus was found in 1995 by Turkish archaeologist Sevdet Babert Luoglu. It is 216 meters long and 6.7 meters wide. Many ancient artifacts were discovered during the excavations along the road and most of them are currently displayed at the Museum of Anatolian Civilizations. Roman Theater The Column of Julian or Julianus, now in the Ulus district was erected in honor of the Roman Emperor Julian the Apostate's visit to Ansira in 362. Temple of Augustus in Rome Roman Baths Roman Road Column of Julian Mosques Kokotep Mosque Ahmed Hamdi Aksiki Mosque Yeni Mosque Hasi Bayram Mosque Ahi Elvin Mosque Ayladdin Mosque Modern Monuments Victory Monument Statue of Atatürk Kokotep Mosque is the largest mosque in the city. Located in the Kokotep Quarter, it was constructed between 1967 and 1987 in classical Ottoman style with four minarets. Its size and prominent location have made it a landmark for the city. 
Ahmed Hamdi Aksiki Mosque is located near the Presidency of Religious Affairs on the Eskisahir Road. Built in the Turkish neoclassical style, it is one of the largest new mosques in the city, completed and opened in 2013. It can accommodate 6,000 people during general prayers, and up to 30,000 people during funeral prayers. The mosque was decorated with Anatolian Seljuk-style patterns. It is the largest Ottoman mosque in Ankara and was built by the famous architect Sinan in the 16th century. The mimbar and mirap are of white marble, and the mosque itself is of Ankara stone, an example of very fine workmanship. This mosque, in the Ulus quarter next to the Temple of Augustus, was built in the early 15th century in Seljuk style by an unknown architect. It was subsequently restored by architect Mimar Sinan in the 16th century, with Kudahaya tiles being added in the 18th century. The mosque was built in honor of Hasi Bayram Ivili, whose tomb is next to the mosque, two years before his death. The usable space inside this mosque is 437 m2 on the first floor and 263 m2 on the second floor. It was founded in the Ulus quarter near the Ankara citadel and was constructed by the Ahi fraternity during the late 14th and early 15th centuries. The finely carved walnut member is of particular interest. The Ayladdin Mosque is the oldest mosque in Ankara. It has a carved walnut member, the inscription on which records that the mosque was completed in early A574 and was built by the Seljuk prince Muhyiddin Mesidsa, the Bey of Ankara, who was the son of the Anatolian Seljuk Sultan Kilik Arslan II. The Victory Monument was crafted by Austrian sculptor Heinrich Krippel in 1925 and was erected in 1927 at Ulus Square. The monument is made of marble and bronze and features an equestrian statue of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, who wears a Republic era modern military uniform, with the rank Field Marshal. Located at Zafir Square, the marble and bronze statue was crafted by the renowned Italian sculptor Pietro Canonica in 1927 and depicts a standing Atatürk who wears a Republic era modern military uniform, with the rank Field Marshal. This monument, located in Guven Park near Kizile Square, was erected in 1935 and bears Atatürk's advice to his people, Turk. Be proud, work hard, and believe in yourself. The monument was depicted on the reverse of the Turkish 5 lira banknote of 1937-1952 and of the 1000 lira banknotes of 1939-1946. Erected in 1978 at Sihai Square this impressive monument symbolizes the Hatti Sun Disk and commemorates Anatolia's earliest known civilization. The Hattie Sun Disc has been used in the previous logo of Ankara Metropolitan Municipality. It was also used in the previous logo of the Ministry of Culture and Tourism. Sulahan is a historical inn in Ankara. It is also called the Hassan Pasa Han. It is about 400 meters southeast of Ulu Square and situated in the Hasidigan neighborhood. According to the Vakfi Yi of the building, the Ottoman era Han was commissioned by Hassan Pasha, a regional Beylerbi, and was constructed between 1508 and 1511, during the final years of the reign of Sultan Bayezid II. There are 102 rooms which face the two yards. In each room there is a window, a niche, and a chimney. Senjilhan Ramai KOC Museum is a museum of industrial technology situated in Senjilhan, an Ottoman era in which was completed in 1523, during the early years of the reign of Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent. 
The exhibits include industrial-slash-technological artifacts from the 1850s onwards. There are also sections about Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, the founder of modern Turkey, Vebi Koc, Ramai Koc's father and one of the first industrialists of Turkey, and Ankara City. Foreign visitors to Ankara usually like to visit the old shops in Sikriksalar Yakasu near Ulus, where myriad things ranging from traditional fabrics, hand-woven carpets and leather products can be found at bargain prices. Bakirsalar Karsasi is particularly popular, and many interesting items, not just of copper, can be found here like jewelry, carpets, costumes, antiques and embroidery. Up the hill to the castle gate, there are many shops selling a huge and fresh collection of spices, dried fruits, nuts and other produce. Modern shopping areas are mostly found in Kizile, or on Tunali Hill Mi Avenue, including the modern mall of Kurum which is located towards the end of the avenue, and in Kankia, the quarter with the highest elevation in the city. Atakal Tower next to Atrium Mall in Kankia commands a magnificent view over Ankara and also has a revolving restaurant at the top where the city's panorama can be enjoyed in a leisurely fashion. The symbol of the Armada shopping mall is an anchor, and there's a large anchor monument at its entrance, as a reference to the ancient Greek name of the city, A, which means anchor. Likewise, the anchor monument is also related with the Spanish name of the mall, Armada, which means naval fleet. As Ankara started expanding westward in the 1970s, several modern, suburbia-style developments and many cities began to rise along the Western Highway, also known as the Eskisahir Road. The Armada, Sepa and Kent Park malls on the highway, the Galleria, Arcadium and Gordian in Umatoy, and a huge mall, Real and Bilkent Center, offer North American and European-style shopping opportunities there is also the newly expanded Anka Mall at the outskirts, on the Istanbul Highway, which houses most of the well-known international brands. This mall is the largest throughout the Ankara region. In 2014 a few more shopping malls were open in Ankara. They are next level and Taurus on the boulevard of Mevlana. Turkish State Opera and Ballet, the National Directorate of Opera and Ballet Companies of Turkey, has its headquarters in Ankara, and serves the city with three venues. Ankara is host to five classical music orchestras. There are four concert halls in the city. The city has been host to several well-established, annual theatre, music, film festivals. Ankara also has a number of concert venues such as Eskiini, If Performance Hall, Jolly Joker, Kite, Nef's Bar, Naku's Pub, Passage Pub, and Root, which host the live performances and events of popular musicians. The Turkish State Theatres also has its head office in Ankara and runs the following stages in the city. In addition, the city is served by several private theatre companies, among which Ankara Sanat Tiatrosu, who have their own stage in the city centre, is a notable example. There are about 50 museums in the city. The Museum of Anatolian Civilizations is situated at the entrance of the Ankara Castle. It is an old 15th-century beadsten that has been beautifully restored and now houses a unique collection of Paleolithic, Neolithic, Hatti, Hittite, Phrygian, Urartian and Roman works as well as a major section dedicated to Lydian treasures. Anitkabur is located on an imposing hill, which forms the Anitape quarter of the city, where the mausoleum of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk founder of the Republic of Turkey, stands. Completed in 1953, 
it is an impressive fusion of ancient and modern architectural styles. An adjacent museum houses a wax statue of a Tatark, his writings, letters, and personal items, as well as an exhibition of photographs recording important moments in his life and during the establishment of the Republic. Anat Kabur is open every day, while the adjacent museum is open every day except Mondays. Ankara Ethnography Museum is located opposite to the Ankara Opera House on Talat Pasa Boulevard, in the Ulus district. There is a fine collection of folkloric items, as well as artifacts from the Seljuk and Ottoman periods. In front of the museum building, there is a marble and bronze equestrian statue of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk which was crafted in 1927 by the renowned Italian sculptor Pietro Canonica. The State Art and Sculpture Museum which opened to the public in 1980 is close to the Ethnography Museum and houses a rich collection of Turkish art from the late 19th century to the present day. There are also galleries which host guest exhibitions. Ser Modern is the Modern Arts Museum of Ankara, inaugurated on April 1, 2010. It is situated in the renovated building of the historic TCDD Ser Atoli Aleri, formerly a workshop of the Turkish State Railways. The museum incorporates the largest exhibition hall in Turkey. The museum holds periodic exhibitions of modern and contemporary art as well as hosting other contemporary arts events. The War of Independence Museum is located on Ulus Square. It was originally the first parliament building of the Republic of Turkey. The War of Independence was planned and directed here as recorded in various photographs and items presently on exhibition. In another display, Wax figures of former presidents of the Republic of Turkey are on exhibit. The Mehmet Akif Literature Museum Library is an important literary museum and archive opened in 2011 and dedicated to Mehmet Akif Ersoy, the poet of the Turkish national anthem. The TCDD Open Air Steam Locomotive Museum is an open air museum which traces the history of steam locomotives. Ankara Aviation Museum is located near the Istanbul Road in Etai Meskut. The museum opened to the public in September 1998. It is home to various missiles, avionics, aviation materials, and aircraft that have served in the Turkish Air Force also a Hungarian MiG-21, a Pakistani MiG-19, and a Bulgarian MiG-17 are on display at the museum. The METU Science and Technology Museum is located inside the Middle East Technical University campus. As with all other cities of Turkey, football is the most popular sport in Ankara. The city has one football club currently competing in the Turkish Super League, Genkler Berlaji, founded in 1923, is known as the Ankara Gale or the Poppies because of their colors red and black. They were the Turkish Cup winners in 1987 and 2001. Ankara Guku, founded in 1910, is the oldest club in Ankara and is associated with Ankara's military arsenal manufacturing company MKE. Ankara Guku used to play in the Turkish Super League until being relegated to the TFF First League at the end of the 2011-2012 season. They were the Turkish Cup winners in 1972 and 1981. Genkler Berlaji's B team, Hasidapi SK played in the Turkish Super League for a while until being relegated. All of the aforementioned teams have their home at the Ankara 19 Mayis Stadium in Ulus, which has a capacity of 21,250. A fourth team, Bayuxhir Baladi Ankaraspir, played in the Turkish Super League until 2010, when they were expelled. 
They have since returned to the Turkish Super League after winning the TFF First League in the 2014-15 season and now go by the name of Osman Lisper. Their home is the Osmanli Stadiumu in the Sinkan district of Yenikant, outside the city centre. Ankara has a large number of minor teams, playing at regional levels, Bugsaspur in Sinkan, Etimesgut Sekerspur in Etimesgut, Turk Telecom Spor owned by the phone company in Yenemehala, Ankara Demir Spor in Kankia, Kishioren Gyoku, Kishioren Spur, Persikler Spur, Baglam Spur in Kishioren, and Petrol Afisi Spor owned by the oil company in Altin Dog. Most of them, including Hasatep Spur, play their matches at Sebesi in Onu Stadium in the Sebesi district. In the Turkish Basketball League, Ankara is represented by Turk Telecom, whose home is the Ankara Arena, and Kasa Ted Koloyalar, whose home is the TOBB Sports Hall. Halk Bank Ankara is currently the leading domestic powerhouse in men's volleyball, having won many championships and cups in the Turkish Men's Volleyball League and even the CEV Cup in 2013. Ankara Buzz Padani Sarayi is where the ice skating and ice hockey competitions take place in the city. There are many popular spots for skateboarding which is active in the city since the 1980s. Skaters in Ankara usually meet in the park near the Grand National Assembly of Turkey. The 2012 built THF Sport Hall hosts the Handball Super League and Women's Handball Super League matches scheduled in Ankara. Ankara has many parks and open spaces mainly established in the early years of the Republic and well maintained and expanded thereafter. The most important of these parks are Genklik Parki, the Botanical Garden, Segmenler Park, Anayasa Park. Kugula Park, Abdi Ipeksai Park, Sartip Parki, Guvan Park, Kurtalus Park, Alton Park, Harry Kaler Diary and Goksu Park. Gen Klik Park was depicted on the reverse of the Turkish 100 lira banknotes of 1952-1976. A Tatark forest farm and zoo is an expansive recreational farming area which houses a zoo, several small agricultural farms, greenhouses, restaurants, a dairy farm and a brewery. It is a pleasant place to spend a day with family, be it for having picnics, hiking, biking or simply enjoying good food and nature. There is also an exact replica of the house where a Tatark was born in 1881, in Thessaloniki, Greece. Visitors to the Sift Leak as it is affectionately called by Ankarans, can sample such famous products of the farm such as old-fashioned beer and ice cream, fresh dairy products and meat rolls slash kebabs made on charcoal, at a traditional restaurant, cafes and other establishments scattered around the farm. Ankara is noted, within Turkey, for the multitude of universities it is home to. These include the following, several of them being among the most reputable in the country. TOBB University of Economics and Technology Ankara University Faculty of History and Geography Part of the METU campus, as seen from its MM building An auditorium in METU The medical school on the main campus of Hasatapi University Kankia University Ankara is home to a world-famous domestic cat breed the Turkish Angora, called Ankara Kadisai in Turkish. Turkish Angoras are one of the ancient, naturally occurring cat breeds, having originated in Ankara and its surrounding region in central Anatolia. They mostly have a white, silky, medium to long length coat, no undercoat and a fine bone structure. 
There seems to be a connection between the Angora cats and Persians, and the Turkish Angora is also a distant cousin of the Turkish Van. Although they are known for their shimmery white coat, currently there are more than 20 varieties including black, blue and reddish fur. They come in tabby and tabby white, along with smoke varieties, and are in every color other than pointed, lavender, and cinnamon. Eyes may be blue, green, or amber, or even one blue and one amber or green. The W gene which is responsible for the white coat and blue eye is closely related to the hearing ability, and the presence of a blue eye can indicate that the cat is deaf to the side the blue eye is located. However, a great many blue and odd-eyed white cats have normal hearing, and even deaf cats lead a very normal life if kept indoors. Ears are pointed and large, eyes are almond-shaped and the head is massive with a two-plane profile. Another characteristic is the tail, which is often kept parallel to the back. The Angora rabbit is a variety of domestic rabbit bred for its long, soft hair. The Angora is one of the oldest types of domestic rabbit originating in Ankara and its surrounding region in central Anatolia, along with the Angora cat and Angora goat. The rabbits were popular pets with French royalty in the mid-18th century, and spread to other parts of Europe by the end of the century. They first appeared in the United States in the early 20th century. They are bred largely for their long Angora wool, which may be removed by shearing, combing, or plucking. Angoras are bred mainly for their wool because it is silky and soft. They have a humorous appearance, as they oddly resemble a fur ball. Most are calm and docile but should be handled carefully. Grooming is necessary to prevent the fiber from matting and felting on the rabbit. A condition called wool block is common in Angora rabbits and should be treated quickly. Sometimes they are shorn in the summer as the long fur can cause the rabbits to overheat. Monument to a secure, confident future. Hattie Monument. Inns. Sulahan. Senjalhan Ramai KOC Museum. Shopping Culture The Arts Ankara International Music Festival, a music festival organized in the Turkish capital presenting classical music and ballet programs. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed. Angora Encyclopedia Britannica 2. Cambridge University Press Pages 4041, this article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Rockwell, William Walker. Ansira. In Chisholm, Hugh. Encyclopedia Britannica 1. Cambridge University Press the Angora goat is a breed of domestic goat that originated in Ankara and its surrounding region in central Anatolia. This breed was first mentioned in the time of Moses, roughly in 1500 BC. The first Angora goats were brought to Europe by Charles V, Holy Roman Emperor, about 1554, but, like later imports, were not very successful. Angora goats were first introduced in the United States in 1849 by Drive James P. Davis. Seven adult goats were a gift from Sultan Abdul Masid I in appreciation for his services and advice on the raising of cotton. The fleece taken from an Angora goat is called mohair. A single goat produces between 5 and 8 kilograms of hair per year. Angoras are shorn twice a year, unlike sheep, which are shorn only once. 
Angoras have high nutritional requirements due to their rapid hair growth. A poor quality diet will curtail mohair development. The United States, Turkey, and South Africa are the top producers of mohair. For a long period of time, Angora goats were bred for their white coat. In 1998, the Colored Angora Goat Breeders Association was set up to promote breeding of colored Angoras. Today, Angora goats produce white, black, red, and brownish fiber. Angora goats were depicted on the reverse of the Turkish 50 lira banknotes of 1938-1952. Atakal Tower Sheraton Hotel and Convention Center BDDK Building, formerly Turkey is Bankasi Headquarters, on Atatürk Boulevard. Karamanlar Business Center at Kizilay Square. Esenboga International Airport. Esenboga International Airport. The Historic Ankara Palace Hotel. The Historic Ankara Palace Hotel. Entrance of the State Art and Sculpture Museum. Yunus Emre Institute, originally the Tekel Building. The Historic Zirate Bank Building. Statue of Leila Jenker in front of the Ankara Opera House. View of Central Ankara from the Botanical Park. Guven Park in Kizile Square. The Third and Current Grand National Assembly of Turkey Building. Crown Plaza Hotel. Radisson Blue Hotel, originally Stadatelli was designed in 1964 by Dogen Takili, Sami Sisa, and Medan Hepgüller. Sogudozu Business District in Yenemehala, with the Armada Tower and Mall rising behind the Turkish flag. Armada Tower and Mall Sogudozu Business District in Yenemehala Intercity Bus Terminal in Yenemehala, Ankara TOBB Towers Port Akalsiski Residence in Ankara Halk Bank Tower designed by Dogen Takili and Sami Sisa Ankara is twinned with 43 Iliski Durumu Evli Isl Attribution Music Theatre Museums Museum of Anatolian Civilizations Anat Kabur Ankara Ethnography Museum State Art and Sculpture Museum Ser Modern War of Independence Museum Mehmet Akif Literature Museum Library TCDD Open Air Steam Locomotive Museum Ankara Aviation Museum METU Science and Technology Museum Sports Parks Education Universities Fauna Angora Cat Angora Rabbit Angora Goat Gallery International Relations Twin Towns and Sister Cities Partner Cities Notes Sources and External Links